Good morning, walkers, and welcome to Cannon Beach, uh, Oregon. It is mid-July, 8 a.m., 52 degrees Fahrenheit, 11 degrees Celsius. Uh, here's the visitor, visitor center where we're going to start on the corner of, let me see if I can find a street name. I cannot. A uh, ton of public parking here, uh, and some public restrooms, tsunami warnings everywhere, um, or at least signs to be aware of tsunamis. And uh, let me pull up, oh, spruce and oh, Spruce Street is the only one I see. And that's uh, this one where the van is. Uh, I'll see if I can see another street name here. Second, second and spruce. We're gonna head north here just to start. I wanna thank you for joining me um, on this Oregon walk. I'm going to try and crank out a few in different places today. Uh, click that subscribe button if you're interested in these walks. Um, click like if you like the video. And of course, please leave me a comment. I do read them. I do appreciate them and enjoy the feedback. And I try to respond to everyone. Although um, it's getting more and more challenging with the numbers growing, which, you know, is a nice problem to have. Uh, we have over here, <clears throat> well, this is boutique, I guess. I thought maybe it was going to be a restaurant, but uh, it is not. <clears throat> and uh, some tennis courts and a playground, which is cordoned off at the moment. We have a kite store. And um, snap bird, beautiful. Uh, Cannon Beach is a popular destination area. It's got a year-round residence, about eight or population about 1800, I believe, 17, 1800. Correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, please let me know your Cannon Beach stories um, and Cannon Beach connections. I'm just going to kind of loop around here. Cannon Beach is famous for Haystack Rock and uh, <clears throat> the, uh, which is a, a geologic formation. Um, there is a mask requirement here in Oregon morning um, for outdoor indoor areas as well as outdoor areas where you can't maintain social distance <clears throat> so I'm gonna have mine ready and I might get muffled a little bit um, It'll be a challenge to put it on one-handed, but we'll do what we should do for everybody's safety. Oh, the flowers smell beautiful. I don't know if we're actually going to see Haystock. Oh, little bunny rabbit. So cool. This morning, leaving uh, where we're staying down the coast, um, in the super misty, super foggy, uh, some elk. We're right there in the mist. It was absolutely beautiful, you know, 15, 20 feet away. But what I was going to say, I'm going to cross over here. Um, I was going to say that it's so misty this morning that I don't know if we'll see a stack rock. Hopefully we will. Uh, a lot of real estate signs. You know, a typical tourist town, a lot of stuff and places making, uh, capturing that business. There's Simply Cupcakes and Cakes by Jay. <clears throat> oh, look, a little drone. <laughs> it's like a DJI Spark, maybe. Walk us through town a little bit, and then, uh, well, I'll give us a little view of the beach here, and then we'll walk down through town a little bit. And hopefully, my screen won't, my lens won't get um, misty. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, the tide is pretty low. And uh, I can hear the water, but I can't really see it. 
the surf. Just because we're on the sidewalk. <clears throat> A lot of cute little buildings with cedar shingles, hotels. Uh, I ex fully expect to find a fudge shop somewhere. Um, a super cute little town. And this is sort of the what they call the downtown area, but there's I think three sections of residence, shoal stuff, and other services. Each one has like a coffee shop and a food shop, it seemed like. There's Bruce's candy kitchen. I bet they serve fudge. Laurel's wine shop. <clears throat> Coastal Yarns, that's Trailing Mill, would be happy there. I have to be careful because I, <laughs> I don't know my way around. I'll have to be able to find my car again. A lot of signs up encouraging mask wearing like this. Um, ooh, bakery, that looks good. Cannon Beach Bakery. I'm gonna have to pass for now, given the number of people. <clears throat> this is a cute little Shopping area, shops and pizza a feta. Get a slice maybe later. Or there's the landing, little shopping area. Craft cannabis. Looks like a uh, dispensary. Bill's Tavern and Brew House looks like it might be worth a visit. Kind of hoping by the time we get out onto the beach, some of this mist will have burnt off. Uh, I'm gonna cross over because they're putting music onto the street. And if you watch this channel, you know how much I love that. Look at all these flowers. Um, I don't even know half of what these things are. The United States Post Office. There you can see the zip code is 97110. Mariner Market and Groceries. Um, I guess I should probably tell you what street we're on, but I'm not exactly sure. Google doesn't want to tell me either. Ooh, ice cream. Schweitertz. Nice. Ooh, and a book company too.
you can see the light is such so beautiful this morning. It, uh, I know it's only 55 Fahrenheit, but it, it's really pretty comfortable. U.S. Bank over there. The Coaster Theater, that looks like it's currently closed. I assume uh, because of the pandemic restrictions, but it looks like it could be a fun place to come if you stay here. All right, we're coming up on First Street. And hopefully I can get a sign name here. Hemlock. And you can see the, uh, <clears throat> all the warnings about uh, tsunami evacuation zones and that sort of thing. We're gonna go up west first towards the beach. Shields are, this looks like a very cool sign that someone's made with glass and wood. Pretty slick. Kind of like that. Looks like little raindrops. <clears throat> oh, maybe we'll take another street through this residential area. Look at this. <laughs> That's so cool. It's like something out of Popeye. The lion head up on the eaves of the roof. There's so much moisture here that plants just go nuts. This is Larch Street. And you can kind of see the haze, uh, maybe mountain ridge there poking through in the background. is uh, Sea Lark Apartments. That's interesting. It says Workforce Housing. Um, I know a lot of the, in Montana, we have a big problem finding housing for uh, workers because there's only about four to five months worth of work and then business drops way off in the winter. And so people that, those workers have a really hard time finding affordable housing, especially since Housing is in such a demand in these areas. So I wonder if that might be a place where uh, I don't know, they've just, the community has put together a high density housing situation that's affordable. Ooh, Whispering Dunes vacation rental. God, I love this cedar siding. This is the Schooner's Cove Oceanfront Motel over here. It says no vacancy, so they must be doing okay. <clears throat> A couple of different coffee shops that I've passed. Oh, so tempting. Coming up on West 2nd, and we're going to make a left, I think, up here. Across the way is Waves Motel. Looks like 2nd and Large uh, is the name of the coffee shop, maybe? No. 
Here, we'll look around, I'll show you. It's the uh, Insomnia Coffee Company. That's pretty clever. All right. In the Argonata Hotel. No vacancy here either. Argonata Inn. Looks like there is a river or a creek coming in here. And what we're gonna do, see people out walking. Said it's only about eight o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> Still pretty early. We're gonna go walk on the beach despite the, the mist and fog. Um, North of here in Astoria, there is Lewis and Clark uh, Interpretive Center of Fort Clatsop, which is where I believe they wintered. One of the winters they were uh, exploring. And at that time I read that, I think it was Clark came down here and actually visited this area, which was, I believe, Correct me if I'm wrong on all of this, please, in the comments below. Um, it was the area where the Tillamook people lived. And I'm not sure what their current situation is as an organizational or as a people. I'm seeing some hoof prints on the. Oh no, those are. <laughs> Those are seagull prints. These are not seagull prints. These are tire prints, obviously. I'm assuming um, some uh, environment, I mean, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Official vehicle, maybe. Love the barefoot footprints, little kid feet. So, big beach. <clears throat> Start to see the surf out there. Look over here, you can see some of the houses on the beach. When I was driving in, uh, you could see the haystack rock just poking out of the mist. Big section of it, of the top, was lit up by the sun. And then the rest of it was swallowed up by basically cloud. You can almost see, if I point up, um, how low it is and how narrow a band it is.
Like somebody spent a fair amount of time scraping this loop. Marks on the sand. It's like someone's using a metal detector up here, searching the beach for treasure. Stay off the dry stuff as much as possible for now. Pretty squeaky. Well, I don't know whether we're going to see the haystack today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so I think we're going to cut back up here and maybe I'll put a picture of it as a thumbnail. We'll come up here and take a look at um, the residential area up here. Maybe we'll get up just high enough to look back. <clears throat> you can see the mist, the hills pulling out of the mist up there. And I love these grasses along the dunes, especially when the sun's on them and they're blowing in the wind.
and if you this you can see the mist sort of like a cloud passing through here in the sun Look how thick this grass gets. This is Ocean and Madison. Madison cuts away from the beach. Oh, there it is. You can see just in the distance there, poking out of the mist, the haystack. Oh, that's a relief. We're going to head back down that way. Maybe we just needed to get up a little bit. Love these little beachfront houses. They're not little. They're probably not ex inexpensive either. Crossing Monroe here. Coming up on Jackson. Looks like these are named for presidents. Seems to be trash day. Morning. It's like we're coming up on uh, 
the left here is Harrison Street. Oh, this is kind of a cool little pathway down to the beach. Oh, this is awesome. Love this. Oh man, if I were a kid, that place would be awesome. All right. Looks like they've got a couple more uh, treasure hunters with their uh, with their what do you call those metal detectors? Detectorists. It looks like they've got a guy um, out on the beach picking up trash, which is awesome. Love to see communities taking care of their uh, public spaces like that. <clears throat> you can see, obviously, the haystack in the distance. And I'll, I'm sure there's something in Wikipedia about that, and I'll try and put that in the description below. Um, one of the things here you can see a some wood that was part of a campfire last night or recently and uh, that's one of the cool things that uh, you can do out here on the beaches is below uh, high water which that actually wasn't um, you can have a campfire and uh, I don't know I think that's pretty cool we used to uh, I grew up on the coast of North Carolina and we never did that I'm not sure if it just wasn't allowed or people just didn't do it. Here's something over here too, this number five. Uh, I've seen a couple of these now. And they're basically a rescue thing where there's a lever and if you or a cable and if you unhook it, a big orange flag goes up indicating that someone needs help. And presumably somebody's keeping an eye. We'll go over here and take a look. This must be a much more popular part of the beach. A lot of people out here. But it's big enough that you can maintain social distance. So that's the number five. You can see where the orange flag is. And then you can read the sign here. And then there's a lifeguard tower down here, which I'm not sure how you would see that through all this mist further down, but nevertheless. Well, thanks for sticking with me for uh, the misty void of the beach earlier. This, I'm glad that this uh, is visible. It's kind of what one of the big features that Cannon Beach is known for, and there's a couple more beyond. Um, make wonderful pictures when the light is right. can see a big hotel complex over up on the beach there. Lots of people with their dogs are out here. And I believe that Oregon beaches are leash free. You just have to have maybe a leash with you and your dog under control.
pretty impressive running on sand. Never enjoyed that. Of course, there are thousands of seabirds on this, on these cliffs. Love these old houses up on the, I assume they're old, um, up on the bluff there. Wind blown trees behind them. Such a beautiful day out here. I think that that is all that uh, all that we need to do here. Um, it's about 40 minutes of filming, and I want to thank you guys for joining us here in Cannon Beach, Oregon. Um, hope you enjoyed that. If so, leave us a comment and hit that like button. Um, hit the bell too to get subscribed and notified when we do drop new videos, which should be two to three times a week. Um, and uh, what else? Well, just take care of yourselves and each other as I used to hear on the television. Um, and uh, keep on walking. A lot of you guys have left messages about your progress uh, using these walks. And I appreciate hearing those and I encourage you all in your exercise regimes. Um, Thanks so much for joining us. All the best. Happy walking, and we'll see you next time. Bye.